I was born a collie sheepdog with a white band round my neck and for nine days my eyes was shut and I couldn't see a speck. I had four lovely sisters, me being the only boy, and for six weeks we played around our mother's pride and joy. Till a gentleman from Mullaban, a fancy to me took, he held me in his arms, then me master's hands he shook. He took me to his motor car and started for the road, and in less than twenty minutes I was in my new abode. Well, the first thing my family did was to look for me a name, and they called me this and they called me that, and it sounded all the same. Till my master, he came round the house, and this to me he said, Consider yourself now a dog, henceforth your name is Ned. My one great distinction was I had a bunty tail, and I wagged it for my masters as we walked our hill and dale. I heard his sheep and cattle, and sometimes the nanny goat, and my master often threatened that he cut me bloody throat. As the months went by and I grew up, I learned to do me chore. I barked at the postmen, soldiers, and likewise the man next door. The people loved to see me, they said it was a treat, and before we got into the car, I always washed my feet. But sometimes dogs grow lonesome, and I wished I had a pal. So I met a great big Labrador, and she said her name was Sal. She said that she was lonesome too, and she had a pedigree. I said that ain't no problem, Sal, just leave that now to me. When my master overheard the news that I had with her slept, and we didn't use protection, so across the fence he leapt. Sanya bunty tail black so and so from beyond in Conway Park. I'll stop your gallivant and run me farmhouse after dark. <laughs> With his gun up to his shoulder, a careful lamb he took, and the knives that came out, the valley round it shook. It left me hide a burning as the bullet to tore me head, and the woman said he shot the dog that belongs to Michael Ned. When my master he did hear the shots, and it happened just by luck, he went up to the gunman and said, Ya knew no. Then he let him have the one, two, three, in the old fish hog, saying, That's the medicine I dish out to a man that shot me dog. And he picked me up and carried me to the kennel, and here I lie, and I hear the neighbours asking, Will poor old Ned live or die? I'm getting great attention now. My body's full of lead, and for the first time in my life, I get my breakfast here in bed. My master is forlorn as he sits and strokes me head, and searches round me body for those little balls of lead. <laughs> He's using awful language as he sits there on the log, and here are some of the things he said about that man that shot me dog. May scabs like crabs go around in flabs around everything he feels, and green snotters flow down to his toes and hacks come up his heels. May his woman pout and her hair fall out, and his farts smell like a hog, and the devil's look take that nuri no, that man that shot me dog. The piles go round his big backside like strawberries on the stalk, and every time he lifts the gun, may his stomach bark. And as he goes a hunting over heather, hill and glen, may the bug, may the diarrhea skite with all his might from the man that shot me dog. And it's too concluding finish now, and I'm on all fours once more, and I feel the urge coming over me that we'd one once time before, and I'll sneak out some dark evening in the mist or the thick fog, and I'll leave a half a dozen pups with the man that shot me dog.